Hey guys, Max Selby Queen here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Flora Sky. So, in the last episode, we actually ended off in Habuta City, I believe. Uh, but unfortunately, I needed to do a bit of backtracking because there was something that I missed um, that I was supposed to get in the Safari Zone that I didn't get last time I was in there because I just literally thought it was like a big huge maze. And there wasn't anything important in it other than just to get Pokemon. So I didn't really go too far and I didn't really get too many things. Um, but apparently there is an HM in the Safari Zone that I was supposed to get. The HM Strength is back here. Um, and we just got the Gym Badge for Watson, but we weren't able to um, get HM, get the HM because we didn't come in this house here. So. Do you like this area of the Safari Zone? I like the Safari Zone much as Turizo City. I view into the Pokemon Gym in the city. If you have the Dynamo Badge, I'll give you a gift. Ah, the Dynamo Badge. It's really cool. As promised, here's my gift. Alright, so I don't remember if we actually came in here and talked to this guy before. Um, but apparently you needed to come in here and talk to him before you did the gym, which you didn't have to. But... If you did talk to him in the Safari Zone, which I don't remember if we did or not, then he would give you HMO4 for strength uh, once you beat the gym. But unfortunately, I forgot that <laughs> because last time I actually uh, recorded some of these episodes was such a long time ago that I just, I did not remember at all that we had done that and we were supposed to come through the Safari Zone and actually just, you know, get the HM. So, apparently, that's what we need to do. So I'm just gonna, gonna waste my time here so we can get on out. Um, and now we have strength. <laughs> now we can continue on. We couldn't continue on before because we needed strength. Um, and you'll see why in just a minute. But I'm going to teach strength to someone. Obviously it'll be good to have on a Pokemon. I think I'm going to teach it to Growlithe. Because we have Flash on Luxio. It'll just be a good, strong move to have on Growlithe. Um, just to keep around. So we are going to need Rock Smash as well. But we'll get that when we get to the next town. We'll just zip back over there real quick. So basically what happened to us, I started this episode. And I realized that I needed strength, so I was like, you know what, I'll just restart the episode after we get strength. Uh, because obviously, I'm going to need to do that. But then I thought, you know what, you guys might have been confused playing this game as well, and you might not have known where to get a strength. So, I will uh, do it on screen so I can show you where I got it, and that way it'll be helpful for you, to, for you when you come up to here, to Habitat City, because, as you can see right over here, you need strength and rock smash. So we didn't look around the town last episode. Um, we just got to the town. So I think I'm going to talk to everyone in town. See if anyone wants to give me anything. And we'll go ahead and get Patrat out of the, the box here. Just for a second. We'll put Staravia in the box so that we can help out this person here. And we'll look around Habitat City. That seaside house is where Mr. April lives. He was once a mighty sailor who never feared the sea, however stormy. Alright, well it seems to me, by looking at things, that this city seem well this little town here, seems to be just a knockoff Slateport city, because you have the Abu Chest Market, which is the same as Slateport Market. Um... And then you also have a Mr. April, aka Mr. Briny, that needs some help. Um, so not too much here of interest, but I want to do. I want to look around anyway, just to see what all we got. Um, I recently had machines installed at Pokemon centers for crushing berries. The berry crush machines are at the direct corner upstairs. Did you know? If you make berry powder for me using them with those machines. I can make you all sorts of medicine if you bring me berry powder. Alright, well, I don't really need any medicine, but this is where you go if you get the TM for secret power, which we don't have yet. Uh, and then 
look here this is mr april of course hi i'm mr A uh, i'm april i have a big problem there was these big rocks that fell over and blocked my house and i can't pass through them could you help me out please of course sir of course i will help you out now that we're able to use strength and i am able to push the boulders aside i can do that right there and then I can use the rock smash to let him into his house. But first things first, I'm going to check this beach here. I'm going to check these rocks out to see if any of them has anything on it. Ooh, there's a Lapras. Hello. Okay, well, I can't talk to you, apparently. Um, but let's just go ahead and use rock smash. Help him out and get into his house. I guess he's going to... Yeah, he's just gonna walk right through that strength rock. <laughs> I didn't mean to go over there and I didn't know they would reset. Oh, you broke those rocks. You did it. Thank you so much. I would be very grateful if you'd visit my house. All right, sure. Sure thing, buddy. Coming right up. Welcome to my house, May. I'm still in debt to you. Do you know about the Sea Round City? It's a snow island. It'll be an interest. It'll be an interesting place if you were to go there. I have a Lapras at the beach. Have you seen it? It's a wonderful Pokemon. Why don't you try to ride it? I'm sure it'd be fun. So we can go to see around city. See around it is then. Anchors away. All right. So apparently, instead of going on a boat, we're going to ride on a Lapras, which honestly I'm here for. That's pretty cool. I don't think we need to go back anyway. So I just I think we'll just continue on. Let's go to the Snow City. I think it'd be perfect for Swineb. I just want to continue on and see what's going on here. Sea Round to Sea. Ahoy! We've hit land at Sea Round. Find your pleasure here. Good luck. Your English is very bad. I'm sorry, but it is. Sorry, we got uh, we got some. Whoa, we got some uh, some ice here. Little place to to fish, I guess. What do people do if they need to go to the washroom? What if my rod hooks a big one while I'm in the washroom? I just can't go. Oh, I didn't know there would actually be trainers here. Okay. Sure. I'll, uh... I'll use a drill pack, I guess? <laughs> Jeez, that guy was, uh, pretty strong. Oh, no! I love how my phone decides to go off the minute that I'm literally start recording. Ugh! Alright, sorry about that. <laughs> that happens to me every single time. I literally start to sit down to record and my phone goes off, of course, like always. But we have made it to um, Sea Round City. And of course, it is snowing here. I do like that. It's a very nice city. This is something that I always wanted from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire was for them to, to use the um, Ash quote. You know, they, they called this ash, like volcanic ash, but it looked like snow to me. So I was like, well, why don't they just use it as snow instead of using it as like ash or something? I feel like it would be a lot better if they did that. Um, dang, these, these people are really strong. And I'm glad they actually implemented it into Flora Sky. I really like that. Alright, so, ooh, there's some Team, uh, team Aqua Grunt people, apparently. All I want is um, to heal my Pokemon, please. Apparently this is an underground path to go to the next area. But I don't want to leave just yet, I want to see what's going on in this city. See what we got to buy, nothing- ooh, we can buy Hyper Potions now. I think I will buy a few of these. And I think we have enough super potions. I'll just go with five for now, just to be safe. I know nobody really gives me anything in here, but it doesn't hurt to talk to everyone in the town. It never hurts to talk to everyone. I can't believe there was actually trainers as well who wanted to fight me right outside the town. Pokemon and people have adapted to nature for survival. There's no need to make nature conform to the way we want to live. I know a lot of this... Oh, a Pokedex. Really awesome. 
I know a lot of this is like copy paste from Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, but some of the grammar in this game, yeah. Some of it's a little, a little annoying. <laughs> oh, we have a gym here, I can see. Nice. So it looks like our next gym is going to be an ice type gym, if I had to guess, and take a gander. When I was a child, I visited the museum often. I used to dream about the mysteries of the sea after seeing the exhibits. I definitely know that there's no way I'm going to be able to take on this gym. The only Pokemon that I have to take on the, the gym with is pretty much... Um, pretty... Pretty much just Growlithe. I mean, Prunpluff can Prunpluff can take hits. Bloom would be no use. Um, Staravia would be no use. Hmm. Yep. Of course, a nice type gym leader. Right at a time where we don't need to be facing a nice type person. You know, though, I think. We could potentially switch out some Pokemon. I mean, we don't really have anything other than like Bulpex, and Bulpex won't be useful to us um, because we already have Growlithe, and we don't really have a fighting type, which would be helpful. So I'm not really sure. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I know for one thing, I definitely, definitely We'll be doing some training um, before we take on the gym. That's obviously a must. We could take on the gym trainers and see what the levels are. I know there's probably going to be some Team Aqua people in the museum. Let's just see what they say when we talk to them here. <laughs> if we're blocking this path, people must go through the sea if they want to go to Charpos. And the sea is our house. <laughs> you got it. We'll not let anyone pass, right? Alright, of course, I figured they weren't going to let anyone pass. That's totally fine. Uh, but let's go into the museum. Let's see if there's anyone in there we can battle. Looks like there may be. Team Aqua may have taken over the museum here. Which is fine. We, Team Aqua, exist for the good of all. Alright. So we're still dealing with Team Aqua and Team magma haha -ha, finally i found the hidden blueprint of submarine explorer from now on team aqua can see kyogre easily huh who are you did you hear what i said if you don't go away now i'll show you the power of team aqua Hehehe, <laughs> he hold it we'll crush you all right well i figured this was going to happen so i'm glad that i went and talked to them first <laughs> Uh, Team Aqua Grunts. Okay, so these guys are going to have water types, which are level 31. Definitely super high leveled. I did not exp expect for them to have this high level Pokemon this early on, but we are really, really under leveled. I'm going to have to go back and do some serious training before we even continue on right now. I mean, I all I have on my Gloom is Absorb. Like, I literally need to evolve my entire team before I can even do anything or be able to help anyone out or do any damage to anything. If they're really expecting me to take on Price right now, they're insane. There's no way that I can take on Price. No way. He's probably gonna have like level 35s or something. Maybe almost 40. Who knows what he could have. He could have something so strong. I'm not prepared for that. Only thing I'm wanting right now is to get a pile of swine. I don't even have one of those yet. And my swine up doesn't even have any ground type moves. Oh man, what a disaster. The boss is going to be furious. Huh, sniveling wimp. Let me take care of this. Alright, any, any experience is greatly appreciated though. I will take that. Honestly, if they could give me the Surf HM, that would be greatly appreciated. I could take on all of those gym trainers that are over there in the, uh, in the water with Luxio and get some experience because that would be helpful but I don't think we're gonna get surf anytime soon because we literally only have rock smash and strength we're going in like such backwards order right now we, we don't even have um we don't even have cut 
We were at the beginning of the game needing cut, and we don't even have cut yet. Like, hello? And I, I'm recalling now, wasn't Team Aqua, or not Team Aqua, Team Magma at the forest entrance in the beginning of the game? Do you think we should go back that way? Do you think maybe they cleared out of that entrance area and maybe we can actually go through there now? Oh, of course I miss. Of course I do. Of course I hit myself in confusion. Oh my goodness, just get out of here. Hmm, that does leave me with a lot to think about. Ugh, useless. Really useless. Two members of Team Aqua that can't beat a kid. Now I'll show you my ability. Alright, Chili. Bring it on. Yeah, I'm wondering about that now. Do you think we should go back? I mean, obviously we need to take on Price. But Team Aqua is blocking that area, so... Wouldn't it be useful to kind of see if Team Aqua is blocking that area anymore? Alright, Grimplop, you have failed me. You have failed me. You have failed. Um, we're gonna poison powder because we are definitely going to die. <laughs> I hope we don't, but we are probably going to die. I need to heal up Lexio for one thing because Lexio is gonna be definitely the one that's gonna that's gonna do all the damage right now. If Gloom gets hit with anything, Gloom is going down. I know that for a fact because we've been screeched like two times and eerie face to oblivion, so we're super slow. One crunch and we're gonna go down. But if I can get a thunder off. Ooh, hello? Gloom? Actually living? Alright, I'll take it. You go ahead with your bad self, Gloom. And we get the poison off, so as long as she doesn't heal, we should win. But she is going to heal. Of course she is. Of course she's gonna use a super potion. You wouldn't be an admin if you didn't use a super potion, Shelly. I will give you that much. I will give you that much. Indeed. Ugh, but at least Bloom is doing something. I just wish we had like Mega Drain or some other type of grass type move because Absorb is so weak. It's like having Bubble still on Prinplup. Like, you just don't do that. Although, Safeguard doesn't seem to do what I think it does. <laughs> because I used Safeguard in the last gym when we fought Watson, but I still got paralyzed to no end. So I don't know, maybe it wore off. I just didn't see it wear off. Ugh, a kid beat me. Oh no, you guys brought out the big guns. Ugh, what is happening here? We are Team Aqua, and we love the sea. And I am Team Aqua's leader, Archie. What makes you interfere with us? No, you can't be. You're not one of Team Magma. Pokemon, people, all life depends on the sea. So Team Aqua is dedicated to the expansion of the sea. Don't you agree? What we are doing is a magnificent undertaking. Ugh, fine. You're still too young to understand our noble objective. But I warn you, don't even consider interfering with our plans again. The consequences will cost you dearly. And don't you forget it. Alright. Well, it looks like we finally defeated Shelly, so we can go ahead and get on into the museum here. Maybe they're not blocking that path anymore? So maybe we can go there? Maybe I'm not supposed to be taking on Price right now. Let's just see if they're still there. Well, they're not. Okay, they're not there. Alright. So the question is, do we take on Price right now? Or do we just go to the underground path? Let's go see what levels his gym trainers are. And then we'll take it from there. Oh joy, an ice type gym. With ice puzzles. I love ice puzzles. They're so great. I enjoy doing ice puzzles. They're amazing. Um. Oh, I did it. I figured it out. Okay. If there's literally no one here but the ice type um, gym leader, then we're probably going to have a problem because I don't think I'm going to be able to get out of here. <laughs> Unless I figure out a way to backtrack um, and get out. Hmm. Questions to consider. 
Well, I guess we can go see what Price's levels are. I know we're not going to defeat him, but we can just do like I, s I was going to do with Watson. Um, and we can just see what the levels are. And then I'll know what to like train up to. If I can figure out how to get through this ice gym. I don't know if I'm going to figure out how to get through this. Probably super easy. And I'm just like not able to do it. But then the, else, the other problem is, I need to figure out how to get out of here as well. Um, this way, maybe? This way? This way? Ah, I did it. I figured it out. Okay, yay. Uh, so I'm kind of sensing a bit of a pattern. I think they're trying to make it like it was in Gen 2. They're trying to make the gyms basically like they were in each generation. So we had Watson's gym. Which was like um, his actual gym, Price's gym, which is like, I guess his gym because was it ice puzzles? I feel like it was. And there is a lot of ladders. Hello? Okay. This gym is insane. Wow. Okay. So you gotta take the right ladder? Or you face a trainer. Okay. That works. I just wanted to check and see the levels anyway. So she has a deli bird that is level 31. Alright, so we're uh, we're looking at some high levels here. I'm thinking I'm going to switch out into Growlithe for this because Growlithe can use all of the training that it can get. And who else? Eh, Swine of could be fine. All right, we're gonna fire blast you and rock tune you. Wow, I can't believe that actually didn't take them out. Strange. And there goes Growlithe. <laughs> All right, well that didn't last too long. Um, I can tell we're going to need to do a lot of training. Oh, that's why he's taking everyone out. He's using Ice Ball. No wonder my whole entire team just got destroyed. <laughs> hey, at least Swine Up got some experience. That's kind of all I really care about. Um, okay, so we want to... Oh, there he is. There he is in all his glory. I don't want to take him on yet, though. Unless that's that's really all we can do. Oh, yay! Oh, a way out, thank you. I was wondering where that was. Okay, so obviously I'm not going to be able to take on Price. There's no way. Um, so let me just go to this underground path real quick. Let's see what's on the other side of it. I want to open up all of my options so that I have plenty of time and plenty of areas to um, actually train at. Oh, okay, so this is these are their trainers down here, all right. I think my main goal right now is just to get Swine Up to level 30. Um, because once we get Swine Up to level 30, then we should be, we should have a Mammal Swine. Although, losing my Pokemon would definitely not be the best thing to do right now. I just wanted to see what the Underground had in store for me, but it looks like it has a lot of trainers. And, uh, I don't know... I, my only problem with doing things off screen is I feel like sometimes you guys might want to watch me do all this stuff on screen. So I'm not for sure if I should do it off or on screen or not. I think the one thing I want to do though is I want to go through the underground. Um, because I want to see... For one, I want to see what's here. Um, and get some training in while we're here. But I also... Mm, I don't really have anything for you. But you are definitely, definitely going to be outrageously strong. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try my best here. That's going to be a lot of experience for me. And I know I'm kind of speeding through a lot of these, but I want to... I want to get a lot of experience... But I also want to see what's on the other side, basically. I just need... 
I just need something to, to use, like somewhere to train and somewhere to to help me out with all these different things. I, I really wish we were able to evolve someone though because I can tell that we're going to struggle really hard if we don't get some Pokemon that air cut, HM01 air cutter. Wait, an HM air cutter HM. Attacks the foe with sharp blades or claws. Well, obviously, we can teach this to Staravia. 50. Uh, we'll just get rid of Quick Attack, because we're already pretty fast. What would you use Air Cutter on? That's very interesting. I've never seen that as an HM before. This game is... This game is definitely different. And this underground area is definitely big. So this is going to be a lot of training for me. It's going to be good. I like this. Oh, okay. I think we're going to, unfortunately, faint here. <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but that's okay. I just want to, I just want to go through here. I just want to see what's up. This is really cool, though. I did not think that this underground path was going to be this difficult. But it actually was. Alright, we can't do anything here, so... Let's just faint really quickly so we can get back to the Pokemon Center. Alright, so... We have a lot to do. I think we do. I think we can stop. Um, let me actually check really quick because I know that I had to stop the episode so that I could uh, answer the phone. Uh, so I want to see how long that one was. Okay, that was long. Alright, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to end off the episode here. And then next episode, we will continue on in the underground. Because I don't think we're ready to take on Price just yet. So I will see you guys in the next episode.